everyone. I'm Captain Hughes here at the Wilmington Fire Department. Looks like we're gonna have a station tour today. Come on and join us. Here we're going inside where we live at. We stay 24 hours here at the station. So as you can see here, this is our office area. This is where all our paperwork's done. This is where all of our reports are done. Uh, this is where we have our meetings in the mornings to discuss what's gonna be accomplished today. And as you can see, we do have a little bit of cookies in here to start the day off right. Also, this is our classroom. We, unbeknownst to a lot of people, we have to attend class at least two hours a day. We have to get in two hours worth of training a day to keep up our certification. So we come in here, do obviously PowerPoints. We do different types of topics. But school never ends for us. This is something that we constantly do. We constantly try and educate and get ourselves better each day, kind of like y'all do. You follow me this way. Obviously, this is when the public comes to visit the station. This is where they come. This is kind of like our little lobby. And as you can see up here, this is also a little recreation room. This is where there has been a many of other firemen dumped on right here by myself. So this here is what we call our gay room. This is commonly known as kind of like if you had to, this is like your living room at home. This is where we come to relax on our lunch hour or after five o'clock and we watch movies together, we watch TV together, uh, just like your family. Uh, this is the time when I tell everyone there is no social media, no playing on their phone, we're gonna spend time together. And this is, and again, where it, uh, all this happens. As you can see, we have different patches from different fire departments all through the country. That is a big tradition in the fire service where people exchange patches. So these are all the departments that, or members of their departments who've come to visit this station. We give them a patch, they give us a patch. We actually have more, we're just running out of room to display them. And as you can see, we are very eclectic at our decoration. This here is where the magic happens. This is our kitchen. This is where we prepare the meals. This actual general location is where we discuss what we're gonna to have today. A lot of people think that the city or the fire department pays for our meals. They do not. We come here, decide what we're going to buy, then we all pile on the fire truck. We take the fire truck to the grocery store. A lot of people think, why do you take the fire truck to the grocery store? Well, we just can't, if we get a call, we are there ready to respond at any time. Just because we're at the grocery store does not mean we're off duty. We are still constantly watching after y'all while we were at the store. We bring the groceries back, we divide everything up as far as according to how much it's gonna cost per person. That's why math is very important in the fire service. If there's six people, obviously we divide it up six ways and then we pay that person who actually footed the initial bill. It's very cool. So if you don't pay your bill, you get called a deadbeat and we make you wash dishes. But as y'all can see up here, we are growing a chia pet right now. This is from the Golden Girls. A lot of y'all may remember that. If you've never watched it, you need to. It's a very, a lot of good life lessons. This here is where we eat. Once the meal is prepared, we come in here and have our meal. We all sit down together. Sometimes we play uh, something on the TV. Does anybody? I don't know if any of everyone there watches Ridiculousness with Rob Deerdeck. That is our favorite show at the fire department. So 
But again, this is where we have our meals. This is where we actually discuss some uh, different fire plans, sometime equations and stuff like this. As you can see here, somebody is trying to study for upcoming tests they have. So this is where they come to write it out to make sure that they can uh, pass that test. But you can see we are engine seven and truck seven. There are two trucks here at this station. All right, if you follow me this way, this is a huge refrigerator, by the way. A lot of stuff in here. So this here is where we live. Uh, we live. So once you cross that area there, now we come into what we call the living quarters. Now, the, as you can see, each room is a little different. Obviously, here are our bathrooms and showers, but when we stay here 24 hours, we have to be prepared to uh, sleep here. As you can see, this person here, we get to decorate our rooms how we see fit. But this person here, they just come in and threw their stuff in the floor and started their today's shift. So you have to bring your own blankets. You have to bring your own pillows. Everything that you're going to need, uh, you have to bring more than you would a hotel. This is my room. This is, uh, I have my own room. I'm very lucky. But we each have a desk in here, a TV. These TVs we ain't even actually have to buy. The city does not provide the TVs for our room. But again, we come in here, we sleep at night. How do we know when to get up? As you can see up here at the top, this light will come on. It's a blue light, so it doesn't shock you at uh, waking you up in the middle of the night. And a speaker tells us what alarm we need to go to and where we need to go. So then once we do that, we're rubbing our eyes. We're coming out of here. I do run into this door a lot. Boom! So then I come down the hall. We're trying to move as quick as we can to get on our fire truck. We have one minute and 30 seconds to get on our fire truck and the dressed and the wheels turning. So one minute and 30 seconds. It doesn't matter if you're a hard sleeper, you still have to quickly and safely get on that fire truck. Because if you have an emergency, is that you want us to take our time? No. So we head out this door and just like where we came in, we head back out to the bay. Then we come out here. And then we will, as you can see our gear sitting here by the truck, we basically put our boots on, pull them up. Makes it quicker doing it this way. Throw our coat on, and then we'll hop up in the truck. As one of our firefighters, they ride in the back. They put their stuff on, they hop up here, and they will actually put their air pack on in the back seat. Makes it a lot quicker. Now, my seat is here. I keep all my gear here. This is the computer, which will tell me every bit of information I need to know when I'm going down the road what your address is, what your name is, what your problem is. And then I can communicate so I can know exactly what's going on. It will in fact give me a map to your house. So it's pretty cool. And I can communicate. I can talk to, I can talk to other fire trucks to dispatch through this way. Very cool, very cool. But the coolest job in the fire department is the person who drives. This is was my favorite job. I don't get to drive anymore. Come around here. Again, the best job in the fire department is this seat right here. Somebody, uh, I had a young person ask me the other day, uh, what is my most favorite thing ever about the fire department is driving this truck. It is like being a kid again. You see this button here? This is what makes the fire truck make all, makes all of its noise. 
Uh oh, we're hearing alarm. This gentleman here with the orange with, with the green shirt, he is our newest firefighter. He's going through recruit school right now. He's, he's, he's going to be he's going to be amazing. He, in fact, is our driver right now. He's our driver. We typically put him a booster seat up here. So. But far as and another thing with our station that you will see us do and that we are very big on is physical fitness. Here's are a lot of our weights. A lot of heavy weights. We have some guys here on this at this station can lift just about all of this stuff. I'm not one of those guys. But this uh, this is every day we work out for around two hours. The reason being, we have to stay physically fit to be able to do our job. Would you want a fireman to come to your house who is standing out in the yard like this? <laughs> no, of course you would. So that's why we work out. We have another gym upstairs. But this is where we commonly work out. It's just so we can all spend time together, play music, play music really loud while we work out and we have a good time. It's time for us. To, it's our family. When we're here 24 hours, we are with our family here. Uh, somebody says, if you get and spend your entire career as a fireman, you will spend one third of your life with these folks here. So that's pretty that's pretty eye-opening. I hope you have enjoyed our tour. Uh, um, hopefully you can all come and visit us soon. But this should be a good stand in between now and when we do get to see you, but we'd love to see you. We'd also love to have some of y'all who are interested in being a fireman, come on and see what we're all about. We would love to have you. And when we say fireman, we do not mean just man. We mean everybody. We want everybody. Uh, girls can do as good as boys. So we would love to have everyone come and see us and hope to see you soon.